First, we will show the pop-up effect, and that's right in my two favorite variants. First, I added background on the timeline. Click on the text section. Click on a small plus to add text. Write any text you want in the black box. Right below it, you can choose a font. I chose Rubik. Then, make the text a little bigger. Go to animation and find bounce in. Now, shorten the text so that it lasts only 0.5 seconds, like the effect we selected. Move the text to the beginning of the video. Now, we will make a copy. By holding Alt and dragging the text to a free place, add the next word to your sentence, and then copy the text again and add the next word. Repeat this as long as you need. I would like to enlarge the font a little more. I will select all the words and set the font size to a larger value. So that's all for the first effect. Now we will show the second effect. So I copy everything I wrote. Go to the animation again and find the pop-up effect. This effect is a bit faster, so I recommend extending the time of one word by 0.1 second so that the viewer can catch it. Now I will show you how to add automatic subtitles and set some good style for them. First, I added my old video on the timeline. Click on the text section. There, select the auto captions option. Select the language your audio is in and click generate. Now wait for CapCut to process it. Subtitles have been added, but we can see that they don't look very good. Make sure you have the apply at all box checked and go to templates and I'll show you my two favorites that are not pro. First, find these yellow glowing captions. Now we will edit them to make them look better. Go back to basic. In present style, you can choose anything you want. For example, blue, yellow frame, or even classic white, which I think looks better than the original. Now I will show you my favorite template. Find this free option with a weird little font that turns the word blue when you say it. Go back to basic and set a better font. For example, Rubik. Make sure you have all subtitles selected. It is white around them and enlarge them a little on the screen. If you do it only via font size, the text can be divided into several lines. And the last thing, we choose a color. I will use the popular yellow, for example, but you can choose any other color. Now we will show you how to create a glow effect on text. Add the text again, set the font and font size as you wish. Scroll a little down until you will see the glow effect. Check it and change it to free version. Change intensity around 30 and range around 60. We can also change the color of the glow, but then I recommend changing the intensity to something around 60. As another effect, I will show you how to make a floating text effect. Right click on the text and select Create Compound Clip. Then go to Animation and choose Slide In and set its length to something like one second. Then go to Effects and go to the Nightclub section. Select the Play Pendulum effect and drag it onto the image. Reduce the twist and sharpen values to zero. Set speed to around 70 and strength to around 25. If you want to edit or delete the text, click on the clip with the right button and select the edit effects option, then edit them or press delete and the effect will be deleted. Next is text reveal effect. First, I added video on the timeline. Click on the text section. Click on a small plus to add text. Write any text you want in the black box. Right below it, you can choose a font. I set the text border a little lower. Stretch the text over the entire video. Right click on the text and select Create Compound Clip. Go to the video and then go to the mask. Place the text where you want it. Select Horizontal and set the angle to 270 degrees. Set the mask so that it covers the entire text and at the same time move to the place where the vertical line intersects the person walking. Add mask keyframe. Now let the person in the video move a bit and move the mask towards them. Repeat this process until the entire text appears and you are done. Another effect is a box around the text. I have already added the text and font because you already know it. Scroll down a bit until you find the background checkbox. Check it and choose wide or narrow box around the text. You can change the color a little lower. Here you will also find the rounding of the sides or setting the height and width of the box. I also recommend going to the animation section and setting some effects to make the text appear and disappear, which will keep the audience attention. It's nice to click through it a bit and find the effects you like the most and use them. 
Let's go back to the basics where we'll show you how to let the box appear gradually. Drop the opacity to zero on the timeline set to the moment when our introductory effect ends and create a keyframe. Now we will move a little to the right on the timeline and set the opacity to 100%. This will automatically create a new keyframe and also an effect where a box will gradually appear around the text. Using the same principle, we can change the box color. Next, you will see how to create a scrolling timeline. Click on the text section. Click on a small plus to add text. Write 10 years below each other separated by an enter. Right below it you can choose a font. I chose Resolve. Then I will adjust the font size a bit. Now I will adjust the location so that the first year is approximately in the center of the screen. I will shorten the text on the timeline to two and a half seconds. I set myself at the beginning of the timeline and add a keyframe position. I'll make a copy now. Hold Alt and drag the video somewhere at new line. On the original video, set to second second. Now drag the copy of the text so that it starts at two seconds. Click on the first video and you need to place the last year exactly where the first year is located. A copy of the video will help you with that. Then you can delete the copy of the text. It is no longer needed. Right click on text and select Show Variable Speed Animation or press Alt plus K. Double click on the Y line. Right click on a point on the line and select Present Curve. Choose something similar to what I chose. Then place the blue point so that it lies on a straight line with the first point. Then click on the line and do the same with the upper points and at the same time make it so that the blue points are approximately under each other it does not have to be exact. Now, right-click on the text again and select the option Create Compound Clip, set to the beginning of the video. Then go to Video, and then to Mask, select the rectangle, and place it just around the first year. Then change Feather to 15, and you're done. Next effect is how to highlight text. Add picture or video to the timeline, now copy it, hold Alt and drag it up a line. Click on this eye and turn off the bottom line. Right click top line and go to mask and choose rectangle. Now highlight the text you want to highlight. Add some feather and round corners for a better visual effect. Now turn on the bottom line. Go to basic, then blend and check opacity keyframe. Move a bit on the timeline and set the opacity to around 30%. Now go a bit before the end and add another opacity keyframe. Then go to the end and return the opacity to 100%. Next effect is split screen via text. First I add background video and text on the timeline. Write any text you want in the black box. I chose the font Bevan. And enlarge text a little on the screen. Scroll down and find background, check it. Via height and width, you can enlarge the black background so that it covers the entire screen, but I will enlarge the text a little. I slightly extend the text for five seconds on the timeline. Left click on the text and select Create Compound Clip. Go to Video, then check Blend, and change Mode to Multiply. Now make a copy by holding Alt and dragging the text to a free place. Go to Video, then Mask, and select Horizontal. Move to 0.3 seconds, and add a keyframe on the mask. Then click on the below text and add horizontal mask again. Rotate the mask 180 degrees and add a keyframe on the mask. Move forward about two seconds and pull the mask down. Then click on the top text and drag the mask up. And the last effect is the text behind the object. First, I added video on the timeline we need to copy this video, hold Alt and drag it one line higher with the mouse to create a copy. Click on the video above. Go to Remove BG and check Auto Removal. When we hide the video below, we can see that it has cropped the person in the video. Click on the text section. Click on a small plus to add text. Let's insert it between these two videos. Write any text you want in the black box. Right below it, you can choose a font. Adjust it a little as you like and you're done. 
Thanks for watching, I hope I helped you. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more tutorials. Have a nice day.